Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Monday Evening Live with Queen B, your independent paparazzi consultant. In the spirit of Black History Month, I like to get started this evening with a few little known Black History facts. On this day, February 27th, 1869, John W. Menard spoke in Congress in defense of his claim to a contested seat in Louisiana's second congressional district. Congress decided against both claimants. Congressman James A. Garfield of the examining committee said it was too early to admit a Negro to the U.S. Congress. Menard was the first black man to make a speech in Congress. On February 27, 1872, Charlotte Ray graduated from Howard Law School. She is the first African-American lawyer in the United States. In 1883, on February 27th, Purvis's first patent, which was an improvement of the hand stamp that it enabled it to replenish its own ink. And on this day in 1897, Marion Anderson, a highly renowned classical singer, became the first African-American to perform at the Metropolitan Opera. She was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On this day in the world, we recognize No Brainer Day, International Polar Bear Day, and of course this week, the last week of February, we celebrate and commemorate Random Acts of Kindness Week, and National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. For the month, of course, we continue to commemorate and observe Black History Month. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in with me this evening. This evening's theme is that beautiful metal that is called gun metal, that black metal. So we're going to get started. The very first thing I have for you today is a vintage one and done piece. It is from the Gunmetal family and it's called Prime Prowess. Prime Prowess is a beautiful necklace that can be used to accessorize not just your regular everyday wear, but your authentic black history attire. It is a conglomerate of hammered out shapes that form this beautiful piece. And it features these gunmetal bent bars that interface and connect to an adjustable class closure. It comes with a beautiful pair of matching earrings. The earrings are a smaller image of the pieces in the palette. This is a one and done. It's called Prime Prowess gun metal. Item number 101. Prime prowess in gun metal. Okay. Item number 102 this evening is the industrial wave. This is a beautiful hammered out black necklace that features a gun metal um Coloring, this metal is absolutely phenomenal, very beautiful, very sheenful. And this is an ellipse shape and it's overlaid. Each side mirrors the other with the seventh piece in the center, which is the focal point. It features an adjustable clasp closure and it comes with a beautiful pair of matching earrings that are in that ellipse shape that is hammered out in that same pattern. It features an adjustable clasp closure, falls and lays like that below your collar. And of course your earrings 
or interfaced and connected to standard fitted fittings for pierced ears. This is item number 102, and it's called Industrial Wave in Gunmetal. Very, very nice. Item number 103 is another fabulous piece. And this is a vintage piece. It's called Razzle Dazzle. It features uh, double chains on one side and just an oversized change on the other side that interfaces and connects to this oval disc that has these hematite rhinestones around the circumference. There are two gunmetal um, rectangular shapes here that connect the sides together and interface to a an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender, falls or lays like that below your collar, comes with a remarkable pair of matching small gunmetal framed earrings that are capped in the gunmetal frames. And these are hematite rhinestone earrings that gives this some pizzazz and bling. This is called Razzle Dazzle in gunmetal. It is a one and done. 103, Razzle Dazzle in gunmetal. Item number 104 is the 3D drama in the gunmetal finish. Item number 104, we have these 3D shapes and dimensions that are interfaced to double-stranded gunmetal chains. They interface and connect to an adjustable clasp closure that features that much of an extender, so you have room to leverage it for length. This is called 3D Drama in Gunmetal. It is item number 104, and it comes with a beautiful pair of chain link earrings that are so synonymous to the double chain links that interface to the adjustable clasp closure. This is called 3D Drama. This is a feature this is a fashion fix feature necklace that was originally released in silver and re-released in gunmetal. Item number 104 from the Magnificent Musings Collection. Okay. Item number 105 is simple, sweet, chic, and to the point. Her name is so mod, M O D, so mod in gunmetal. She is a conglomerate of small uh, character shapes here that form a like um, a pendant that drops down. And it is a short necklace. It features chain link earrings. It is called so mod in gunmetal. It features an adjustable class closure with that much of an extender so you have room to leverage the length and the earrings are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears this is called so mod so mod mod in gunmetal item number 105 this gunmetal is really really a beautiful sheenful finish for all of this jewelry. The next thing that I have, item number 106, is a vintage piece. This too, at some point, was a fashion fix necklace that was re-released. It kind of reminds you of the figure eight when you look at the earrings. This is called Street Meet and Greet. It is a beautiful gunmetal finish that features an adjustable clasp closure. It's quite a bit of an extender, so you have room to leverage it. And like I said, the earrings are reminiscent of a figure eight. They are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This is a vintage gunmetal piece. I have two of these available. Item number 106. 106. Very nice. Street, meet, and greet. 
Okay, item number 107 was released, I want to say, the latter quarter of last year. It is a fashion fix necklace. This is called The Center of My Universe. It features rhinestone and that beautiful gun metal. Those circles overlay each other and they're encrusted with a framed small white rhinestone, which sets this beautiful necklace apart. Hence the name Center of My Universe. I have it extended almost all the way out. It is a shorter necklace, kind of like the one that I have on. Um, it could be a choker. It's called Center of My Universe. This is a fashion fix necklace from a few months ago. And it is very cute, sweet, and to the point. The earrings are capped in gunmetal frames, and they house a white rhinestone to give this strength and intensity. This is item number 107. Item number 107, and it's called Center of My Universe. Center of My Universe. Now, the Center of My Universe has a bracelet. And the bracelet is item number 108. Item number 108. And it says, this is called The Universe Revolves All Around Me. And as you can see, it is an exact replica of the necklace with the circular pattern overlaying each other with a smaller circle overlaying a larger circle. And the pattern repeats itself all the way around the circumference of this adjustable clasp closure bracelet. And we have this much of an extender, which gives you some room to leverage it a little bit on your wrist. It makes for a very fascinating and attractive piece of uh, eye candy on your wrist. This is item number 108, and it's called The Universe Revolves Around Me. And I'm just gonna bring back the center of my universe necklace and show you these two pieces together. That is actually, let me put it on a, let me put it on an easel so that you can see it a little bit better. It gets a little bit more graceful. And I think the, the showing of it is so much better. That's the necklace. That's called the center of my universe. And then the bracelet, which is identical to it, is item number 108. It's called the universe revolves around me. This is a gunmetal bracelet that features the white rhinestones. It is so cute. Okay, so much for that. And we're gonna keep moving and doing what we do here. You can find how to follow me on social media, on my social media sites at the top of this live. You can also see that I have a YouTube channel where all my shows are posted there. And you can follow me on Instagram. And I have my own website within Paparazzi, which is located at the top of this live. Okay, up next, I want to show you something that is just so prissy and beautiful. This is item number 109. 109 is a wide black wire cuff uh, bracelet that is called Professional Prima Donna. It's a beautiful extra wide cuff that slips over your wrist like this and looks like that on your arm. Very nice, and it sporadically has the white rhinestones strewn throughout to give some attention and some life to these uh, wires. This is very nice. Item number 109, Professional Primal Donna Cuff Bracelet. Isn't that nice? 109. 110. Is another fabulous bracelet that is called Dare to Flare. 
Now, Dare to Flare is an open wrist, over the cuff uh, bracelet that opens from the center and you put your wrist in and it, it folds over like that. This is item number 110, item number 110. And this one is called Dare to Flare. Dare to Flare, item 110. Item 111 is called Absolutely Applique. This is a beautiful, sheenful, gunmetal, stretchable, um, stretchy band bracelet that features the ellipse in like um, a cube shape and then the ellipse in the oval shape that overlap and overlay each other. It has a very nice sheen to it. It's called Absolutely Applique. This is item number 111. That is another very beautiful gunmetal bracelet. And so now I will share with you this signature piece, which is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. This is a fashion fix necklace, a separate one. And it features these beautiful um, gunmetal pieces. And then each one has on each side double or two rhinestones that are set to bring out the strength, dignity, and character of this. It is double-stranded. This is a beautiful feminine soft rope in gunmetal. The earrings are identical to the pieces in the body of the necklace. Isn't that nice? It features an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended out a little bit more than it should be because I wanted it to hang a certain way on that easel. This is item number 112. Item number 112. And her name is Dangerous Dazzle in Gun Metal. Item number 112. Very nice. Now, item number 112 has a beautiful matching bracelet. And this bracelet is an over-the-wrist cuff bracelet. It's called a Point of Pride. And it's a simple over-the-wrist cuff bracelet in gunmetal that features a cascade of white rhinestones right down the center, which brings out the sheen in the bracelet. This is a beautiful cuff, very simple and dressy, or you can dress it down. It's called a point of pride. And this is a beautiful gunmetal bracelet, item number 113, 113. Okay, up next, item number 114, we have industrial grade. And industrial grade is a conglomerate of discs some of them look like the earrings, and they're just a smooth gunmetal finish. Some of them are hammered out and look a little weathered, like these oversized pieces here and the medium-sized pieces that are strung along a thick gunmetal chain that features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender so you have room to leverage the uh, length that you like. This is item number 114. Item number 114, and it's called Industrial Grade Gunmetal Necklace. Industrial Grade Glamour Gunmetal Necklace. Very nice. Item number 114. Okay. Item number 115 is called Wild Catch. And that's exactly what it is. Wildcat is beautiful. We have a conglomerate of shapes that are tilted and they mirror each other on each side. It features double-stranded chains that interface and connect to an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender so you have room to leverage it for length. The earrings match the pieces in the necklace. This is called Wild Catch. This is a one and done Wild Catch. 
item number 115. 115. Wildcat. Isn't that nice? I thought you might like that. Okay. Item number 116. This casual connoisseur. And casual connoisseur is a funky fresh bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look at that texture. That hammered out weathered look. And it's a it's an adjustable clasp closure bracelet. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It has that much of an extender. And it's quite attractive. Very shameful. Very nice. Very cute. And the pattern repeats itself all the way around the circumference of this bracelet. That is a beautiful piece of wrist candy. Item number 116. And it would go well with guess who? It would go well with the Wildcat. Different shapes, same texture. It would also go well with this beauty right here. It's industrial something. I can't recall it. But look at that. Those two work well together. Textures. Yes. All right. So the good thing about the jewelry is you can mix and match it up and still come out with a new look, you know, when you get enough pieces. So that's a good thing. Okay. So up next, we have what is called Savage Yard. And Savage Yard is item number 117. It is a conglomerate of shapes in different sizes. We have two layers. It features uh, an adjustable clasp closure and an oversized black chain or a gunmetal chain that falls and lays like that below your collar. You have that much of an extender. And look at those earrings, the same shapes that are in the necklace. These are hammered out. Isn't that nice? And of course, they're interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings. I have quite a few of these. This is called Savage Yard in Gunmetal. Savage Yard in Gunmetal. Item number 117. 117. Okay. Item number 118 is called metallic mane in black and baby she screams i'm just cute we have these flares that mirror each other on the side with the pointed versions uh coming together in the center to form a beautiful palette it is threaded along a rope chain in gunmetal the earrings we have one half inch hoops that feature these petals these um links on here that are just like the flares and the necklace the same design and of course they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears this is item number 118 this beautiful piece is called metallic mane in black isn't she lovely item number 118 absolutely beautiful Okay, item number 119 is called Suburban Storm. And Suburban Storm is sweet, simple, and to the point. We have an oversized teardrop that, with a melded uh, ellipsis inside of it. It is hooked on to double-sided or double-stranded chains that feature an adjustable clasp closure. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And they come with a pair of ellipse earrings in an oval shape that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. 
This is called Suburban Status, item number 119. Very simple, sweet, and chic, all wrapped up in one piece. Very nice. Okay, item number 120. 120 is called Metro Maven in black. This is also a vintage piece that features two layers of circles overlaying each other and overlapping each other and coming together and falling like that below your collar. And this looks like a number eight. Um, we have the, the smaller hoop, the larger hoop on top of the smaller hoop to form this nice earring. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. So you have leverage to lengthen if you need. And this is a beautiful vintage gunmetal necklace. This too was a fashion fix uh, necklace back at the time. This is called Metro Maven in gunmetal or black. Very nice item number 120. It has that rustic appealing charm. But you have to put on the right the right clothes with it to make it do what it does. And you would just love it. Up next, we have Guide to the Galaxy. And Guide to the Galaxy is another fascinating gunmetal necklace that features these uh, embellished triangular shapes that have a satiny sheen to them and some of them have just a smooth sheen. They're all connected to a gunmetal chain which features an adjustable clasp closure which has that much of an extender so you have room to lengthen it and it comes with just a simple pair of chain link earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Guide to the Galaxy in gunmetal Guide to the Galaxy. This is item number 121. Very nice and different. Then we have a very appealing necklace that is called Powerful Soul, I believe. We have a conglomerate of circles. They're all the same size. Each side mirrors the other, and then we have that one focal point in the center. It is very insightful. I am showing it to you tonight in gunmetal. It features an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended just about all the way out because I wanted you to see the full effects of it in its intensity. Okay? And the earrings are a smaller version of the um, melded circle in the spiral that is interfaced to the chain. This is called Power Soul, item number 122. 122. And last but not least for this evening, we have the Catwalk Conqueror, which is a vintage uh, piece from a fashion fix necklace in the past. This is called the Catwalk Conqueror. It's an oversized gunmetal chain. It features a gunmetal gem that is set and framed in a black frame. It is interfaced and connected to an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender. And it comes with a small pair of matching hematite rhinestones that are set in gunmetal frames, interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Catwalk Conqueror, item number 123. And last but not least, Catwalk Conqueror has a bracelet that is called Command and Conquer. It is the identical piece just like the necklace with the black gunmetal chain. It features the hematite rhinestone that is set in the black gunmetal frame. And it has 
an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. This is called the Catwalk Conqueror Bracelet in Black, item number 124. Okay, it is now 8 p.m. And I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that took the time to come in with me this evening. Your precious, precious presence is appreciated. Hey, Chris, happy belated birthday to you. Thank you for joining me this evening. Hi, Trina. Thank you so much for coming in this evening. Francois, mwah. Thank you, my brother. It's always a pleasure to see you. Chantel, my friend, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in this evening. And Wanisha wants 113. 113 is this cute bracelet. I got you, Miss Wanisha. Thank you so much for coming in with me this evening. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I am going to take tomorrow off and come back on Wednesday. So thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I appreciate your presence. My prayer remains one and the same. Until we meet again, I pray the Father God holds each one of us in the palm of his hand. Thank you so much for your presence. I appreciate you. Be blessed. Have a good night. And if you're not busy on Wednesday, come on out to Queen Bee's Wednesday Evening Live. Until then, good night and thank you.